Howdy folks, good afternoon, how are we all doing? It is Monday, July 19th, 2021. I'm over at the Lemon Bay Environmental Park, which is part of the Sarasota County Parks near Inglewood, Florida. Funny thing about Inglewood is part of the town lies in Sarasota County, and then the other part of the town lies in Charlotte County. But here in the distance, we've got ourselves the Lemon Bay Estuary, which essentially an estuary describes a body of water that has a mixture of salt water and fresh water, a two in one, as it were. So, usually, with most times, estuaries, that's where you find a decent amount of biodiversity in terms of fish, mammals, and even birds. What we actually have in front of us is, of course, the famous red mangrove. And red mangrove, if you look deep down enough, down here, it looks like a crazed mess, in a sense, but... Red mangroves are always known to have prop roots, which these prop roots essentially help the red mangroves to create their own islands. And they can also help stabilize shoreline, as I've mentioned before. But then to my left, we got ourselves the black mangrove here. Black mangroves, on the other hand, they have these protruding roots if you look carefully, I don't know how well you guys can see on your end, but black mangroves, they have these protruding roots from the ground that sort of look like snorkels, but the fancy term is pneumatophores, because what the black mangroves do is they try to receive any air that's above the ground and they'll draw it in. Also known as sequestration. So they like to draw in carbon dioxide. So in a way, you know, for those of you who have heard about climate change, our mangroves can actually help us. Whoa! We just had a group of brown pelicans just fly over me. Oh my goodness. That was cool. See? That's an amazing thing about nature. You never know what you're going to see. But as I was saying, mangroves can essentially take in high amounts of carbon dioxide that is in our atmosphere. So in a sense, mangroves can actually help combat climate change that's currently occurring. Well, back on the subject of black mangroves, what they can do is... They like to extrude salt from their roots. So like if you put your finger up against one of their pneumatophores, you'll actually taste the salt. But then like red mangrove, on the other hand, they're opposite. They like to desalinate water through a process known as reverse osmosis, which is a separate process. It's essentially a filtration technique that man red mangroves incorporate. So you could say like the red and black mangroves are essentially counterparts of one another in terms of their function. Red mangrove, they like to filter out the salt, get rid of it, desalinate the water, but then black mangroves are opposite. They like to give out salt. Yeah. So you have a chance to see basically a variety of habitat here at this park. You can see scrubby flatwoods, pine flatwoods, which is kind of what we're seeing right now. And of course, our estuary. But then while I was out here, I noticed a particular flower. 
that you guys might be interested in learning about. So, right here, we got this yellow flower with the distinctive leaves coming off of it. So you can see the leaves are directly alternate of each other. Kind of reminds you of looking at a fern. But they're not a fern, they are a flowering plant. And then it has like a reddish stem. And of course, your yellow petals, which help attract pollinators. This plant is actually known as the partridge pea. The reason that they call it that is this plant actually produces these uh, pea pods that resemble looking at peas. Let me see if I can actually find an example. All right, mates, I finally found one. So this is how their pea pods are shaped. Very slender and very small. And in terms of their edibility, I believe that they are edible, that you can eat them indeed. But I'll have to be sure to clarify that, to be certain. But that is why they call this the partridge pea, because of these pods. And they are indeed an asset to our fellow homies as well. So that's just something else to look out for if any of you go on any decent hikes out in the state of Florida. We've actually got ourselves a gopher tortoise burrow right here. That's cool. Yep. It's all right, mates. I think that is enough to share for this video. And as I mentioned back on Saturday, if you guys know of anyone, any connections in terms of uh, employment with the Sarasota County or Charlotte County Parks, just feel free to send a private message. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and once again, Journey on a Journey is outwards. Take care, folks.